proof for differentiating cosec x involves, first of all, rewriting cosec x as 1 over sine x. We then take sine x up to the numerator and therefore give it a power of minus 1. We now have a bracket, and so we can use function and function or the bracket rule to differentiate this. So quite simply, we bring the power down to the front. So we have dy by dx equals we bring the minus 1 down to the front, so we have minus 1 sine x in brackets. Then we reduce the power by 1, so we have minus 2. And then we multiply by the bracket differentiator. So if we differentiate sine x, we get cos x. We now tidy this up. We have minus 1 on the numerator multiplied by cos x. And because the bracket has a negative power, we can move that bracket here down to the denominator and therefore it will no longer have a negative power it will be to the power of 2. Still tidying this up further we've got minus cos x on the top and sine squared x on the bottom. Now we can break this up so that we've got minus cos x divided by sine x times 1 over sine x. The first of these then will be cot x, so it's minus cot x, and then cosec x for the second one. The normal way and the formula booklet way of writing these down is however to put the second one first, so minus cosec x, 